Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In past few videos, we have talked about the spinning MBC validation, right? So in few video tutorials, we had seen how to validate uh, a spring uh, bean data, right? Uh, so here we have a, a student class and uh, we need to validate this data when a student is going to register himself or herself. Uh, then this data should be uh, validated from the uh, JavaScript side, UI side as well as server side. So we here we are not going to talk about the JavaScript validation but server side validation, right? And to validate these fields, uh, we had used uh, JSR 303 and JSR 349 uh, Hibernate validator jars, right? Validation. So in this video tutorial, I had created a project offline there are a lot of files uh, in this project that's the reason i have created offline and uh, i'm going to run this project first of all and after that i will explain you each and every piece of code so here this uh, project basically requires a database setup first of all first of all so here if you look into the database dot properties then here i have given the driver name database url username and password here i'm using mysql database so here this database is already i had created but uh, in this database i need to create a, a database table and that table is called a student underscore table so let's create this table in this schema first of all so copy and here i have opened my school workbench let's paste this guy and select this schema so here now this schema is highlighted that means this is selected and let's run this script and here uh, saying that already exists so let's refresh and this table is already existing so let's drop it first of all and uh, let's recreate it again so now if you refresh and go to the table then table is created with no record right now i'm going to run this project and these are the files i will uh, explain you later but let's run this project uh, i have configured tomcat and i'm going to deploy this project on the tomcat first of all now let's it open on external browser so i have chrome here i can open it and here you can say that you can see welcome to a star technology so i had long time back i had created a star technology group on uh, whatsapp uh, whatsapp so that's the name i had given over here and uh, when you click if, if you want to register then you will have to click on the register uh, register and if you want to log in if you have been already registered then you can click on the login button so let's click on the register and without entering any field if i click on the register button then see error message is coming so let's enter email and i'm trying to enter the invalid email so saying that please enter valid email address so i'm going to enter a valid email shown cs2006 at the rate yahoo.com so it's a valid email address so if you click on the register then error is not coming for the email but it's still error is coming for the password so pass i'm going to specify one to pass one to three name uh, here there are many validations i have applied for the name right so name should be at least six character if i type four character then saying that that is minimum six and maximum 20 character so it says soon Sean Murphy and if I try to put some integer and if I try to register saying that number is not allowed for this page uh, for this name field so let's remove this name and phone number if I try to enter wrong phone number then saying that please enter valid phone number at least 10 digit phone number you will have to enter so right now you have a uh, seven digit so now i have entered correct phone number so i think nine digit so let's so error is gone for this we have to select appropriate gender 
and see this password field when you click on every time on the register that's this is getting blanked and that's the that's the real thing right so that should be blank and here i'm going to enter a spring and location i'm going to uh, select delhi and uh, uh, let's i'm going to enter pass one two three and let's click on the register and here we got register and here all registration information is getting displayed for the user if you go back and if you try to log in and here uh, let's check the database if i go and check the database then huge user have been registered with the email address so let's try to uh, log in so so here is the email address and if you try to log in with the wrong credential then saying that a student details not found with the given credential log in here again and again i go and yes, at this time i'm going to give the and uh, let's suppose uh, if you, you do not enter anything i click on submit buttons and saying that you will have to enter these two fields right and here i'm going to enter correct password as well now if i click on the login then you navigate on the welcome page so this the this is the application i have created basically now let's go and explore each and every piece of a code now here what are the technology i have used let me tell you here i have used jsp to implement the view page backend i have implemented control i have implemented in a spring mbc uh, doll layer i have used uh, a spring with jdbc right so and database i have used mysql and web server i am using tomcat so these are the technology and tools i have used now let's have a look into the first of all view page so view here i have a home.jsp there just i am uh, telling user to click either on login or register right so this is the home page and these are the url pattern i have specified the request handler method now login page user has to enter uh, user email address and password i has to click on the login button very simple and we have a login success with post http request method we have a request handler method in uh, controller so now here uh, this is if user is entering wrong password then just i am navigating to the user on this page now this is the registration page there a user has to uh, enter all information and finally user has to click on the register and this is the welcome once user register successfully or login successfully then just i am going to forward this uh, uh, this welcome page so this all about the view page in leaf folder i have added all dependency so mysql connector for mysql database and hibernate four jars i have included so and uh, spring related all jars right and uh, here if you look into the properties so web.xml i have configured dispatcher servlet is working as a, a, a spring mvc controller so that i have registered now messages dot properties so all validation related stuff we have moved into the uh, messages dot properties so if you look into the model class we have a two model class a student and uh, these fields we have validated so we have used jsr 303 and jsr uh, uh, 349 annotation not empty pattern these, these are the things we have already talked into previous video tutorial so, right so these are the validation we have applied and validation related message we have moved into the properties file so what is this placeholder these things already i have talked into a previous video tutorial if you did not watch my previous tutorial then i request you to go and watch my previous video tutorial now we have also one model model class is called a student credential and here there, there is two fields so this is basically i have designed for the login verification right so here we have also validated validated these fields uh, by at the rate not empty and email and related message we have moved into the this properties file right and here we have a dispatcher servlet dispatcher servlet dot xml there i have declared a lot of i have mm, validation stuff sh to work uh, validation stuff we have made enable annotation driven uh, by using mbc uh, namespace now we have a scan three uh, we have uh, registered three packages for auto scanning controller services and dollier 
so that we can use freely annotation in these uh, classes. Uh, we have also registered internal resource view resolver who is responsible to resolve the physical view location of the file. Now we have registered data source. Uh, we have also registered Hibernate template, right, which asks you to supply the session factory, right, and Hibernate 4, you will have to supply this property to make it work. Now, session factory we have registered over here, and uh, this is the model class I have registered over here, and Hibernate property related stuff I have configured here, dialect, SVM, 2DDL. Uh, so SQL and format these are the things these are pretty straightforward if you have been working on the hibernate then easy to understand for you here I have database information I have kept into the properties file so make it and this information basically we are just reading in the uh, we are reading uh, from the property file so to make it working we will have to convert this bean as well so that's why property placeholder configurer and just I'm telling this is my property file and finally we have registered reloadable resource bundle mass uh, mass source and there I'm telling the this class to I have a properties file uh, in this location where I have uh, kept my all validation related key value pairs right so that's the things uh, now well, here we have a controller right so in controller we have a different request handler method right so first of all when user uh, try to run this application then home.jsp will be forwarded right so with get request and when user try to log in uh, when user clicks on the login button then this is going to login.jsp is going to forward to the user when user try to register and when user clicks on the register button then register.jsp is going to forward to the user when user try to register by filling the form then this method is going to call and basically this method here we have annotated this uh, model class as at the rate valid so so that a student a spring will go and that will try to validate try to validate this model data right and binding results we have used binding results if any error occurs then this come up come up with the true value and just we are navigating user to the register page itself there and we can so that there we can show the error message if you this add does not comes any error then just we are calling the register student and this calls the service layer and service layer again calls the doll layer to save the uh, student information so that's the flow once user get registered then in model view just we are putting the a student information so that we can uh, show user information on the welcome.jsp page and uh, uh, if user try to log in with the credential and a credential is wrong then we, we are navigating user we are keeping the user on the login page and we are sending some error message that's why validation stop is there if there is no error then we are just checking user whether user exists in the database or not if user exists in the database then user information we are putting into the model and view and that we are sending on the welcome page and that we are displaying if user does not exist then navigating user to the not found.jsp and we are uh, just telling user to to user information did not find in the database you can log in again try again and this method i have created at, at the model attribute and this value we have kept into the map basically in real scenario you can retrieve this uh, list from the database and you can send to the ui so when request comes first to the this uh, controller class then first of all this method will be executed and this list we have kept into the model object right and from this key just we are retrieving uh, on the registration registration page right if you look into the registration page then this list we are retrieving from here you can hard code but uh, hard code stuff is not uh, good this uh, things should come from the database but in controller we have hard coded but real scenario this can be retrieved from the database ct list also we are retrieving from the controller and this can be moved into the real database so that's all i have in this video tutorial guys this code i'm going to put on the github and github location i will specify in the video description so i got very less time to describe this project if you have any doubt or any query then please do post to the below to the video i will try to answer those queries as soon as possible and thanks for watching this video